OSHA's Voluntary Protection Program is a collaborative effort which involves management, leadership, employees, contractors, visitors. We use the term safety. We're talking about occupational safety, safety in the workplace. Here at the Defense Supply Center in Richmond, we don't really focus on low incident rates to gauge our success in the VPP program. We look more at raising employee involvement, getting our senior leaders more involved, addressing hazards through the ESAMS program. Safety is keeping people safe. We want everybody to go home at night the way they came in in the morning. Being careful of falls, trips, slips, electrical hazards, or any other hazards they may encounter on a job site. Have you been trained? All personnel on DLA Richmond are participants in the safety program. Contractors are required to provide training to their employees and subcontractors and provide documentation to show that they have completed all safety training to the COR. Well, the contractor's role is, number one, always safety. They'll provide barricades, caution tape, ensure people are wearing their proper PPE, hard hats, safety vests, glasses, steel toe shoes, gloves, or any other safety equipment that's required for that function. Uh, the role of the COR regarding safety is to ensure the contractor proves that he has provided training to all his employees and subcontractors, documents that, provides it to me, the COR, and I provide that to the contracting officer to keep everybody safe on DLA. I inspect buildings to make sure they're up to code, make sure all of the fire suppression parts for the building are functional and operational. Supervisors assign two people of each area to participate and be fire wardens for their area. We'd like you to note the primary and secondary fire wardens and safety monitors for your location, and also your primary and secondary routes of egress. Make sure your evacuation plans are posted at each of your exits, ensuring that you have your muster point on your evacuation plan so your occupants, visitors, and employees will know where to go to for accountability. Want to be fire safe, and if you have any questions dealing with fire safety in your area, please feel free to contact DLA Richmond Fire Emergency Services Prevention Office. A near miss is when there's a hazard, but there's no injury or illness that occurs from that. For example, if you have a puddle of water on the work floor, and somebody slips, but they catch themselves before they fall and injure themselves, that'd be a near miss. Now, mishap would be the person slipping, falling, injuring themselves. That would actually be your mishap. When it comes to reporting an injury or illness here at DSCR, what we like for the government employees as well as the contractor employees to do is use our ESAM system. What that is, is our reporting system for any injuries or illnesses, property damage, or any unsafe unhelpfuls that they may find within the work area. When it comes to a contractor, the contractor should report that to their supervisor or the core responsible for that contractor. Now when it comes to mishaps, supervisors have 24 hours to report a mishap once they find out about it. An employee can go to another supervisor if their supervisor isn't there, and that supervisor can actually put that mishap into the system. But once again, they do have 24 hours once they find out about the mishap to go ahead and put that into ESAMS. A job hazardous analysis is done initially with the trainee or individual, be a contractor or government employee. We go over that initially and yearly, and before the person uses a piece of equipment, they go over the JHA themselves. A JHA is important. It tells you what hazards you have on the job, be it pneumatic hazard, fire, electrical, tripping hazard, and it also tells you what PPE to wear. There's all kinds of training that's needed for any job per se, be a contractor or government employee. It's a basically communication. For communication, you have to be able to tell what is a safety concern, safety training. You have ergonomics, environmental, you got hazardous, there's so many. 
We know that VPP is success here at GCR by measuring our trends, I'm looking at our accident injury data, and just seeing how the participation rates are increasing in the overall safety program. Well, everybody on DLA participates in VPP. It's common sense safety rules that brings everybody together to keep a safe workplace. Safety is everyone's responsibility. It's not only the safety office's responsibility, but everybody's involved with safety. You're responsible for your brother, your fellow worker in that work environment.